Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be installing a brand new set of locking tuners on this LTD EC201 FT. And what I got here is from the company Geiker and what they sent me here are their brand new GK New 100 SP locking tuners. Now if we go ahead and take a look at what these are, we can see that they're a bit of a different design than your standard tuner. What they have is this tuning peg that's a bit more of a modern style kind of peg shape and it's got a texture to it and it's got a really nice smooth turn and everything else about this is pretty on point for what you would get out of almost any other company that you could find a locking tuner like this from. So the first thing we need to do is get the old strings off and you need a 10 millimeter crescent or socket wrench to remove the old tuners. Okay so our first step here is to remove the tuners and if you have one of these little winding things it makes it a bit easier but you're just basically going to unwind all your strings you know, until they're loose enough to unravel. Alright, so we have our strings loosened up. Now, from this point, you can just take them off by hand, or, you know, some people like to take the, t the snips and cut them halfway through. That way it makes it easier to pull through the ferrules on the bridge side. Uh, I'll probably cut them after I remove them just because I don't really like to cut them when there's a lot of tension on them. Alright, so I got the old strings removed. The next step is to go ahead and check. See if any of these collars can be removed by hand. If they're too tight, you're going to take your 10 millimeter um, crescent and or socket and just give them a loosen and you're going to loosen all of them up. And once you have them all loose, then we can flip the guitar over and unscrew the back. Okay, now that we have the collars removed, we can go ahead and flip the guitar over and these washers should just fall off and we'll catch them in our hand and then we'll unscrew from the back. So if we look at the back of the headstock, what we have are six screws that are just keeping the angle intact on these tuning pegs. And when I, you know, got the new Geikers, I made sure that what I was getting was the exact same thing in terms of where that screw should be. So if you get a guitar like this where you have the offset screw at a diagonal, you're going to want to get another tuning peg that has the same offset screw at a diagonal. Otherwise, you're going to have to do some sort of modification to the headstock to make them fit. So this step is easy peasy. Just go ahead and take the screws out with, you know, any screwdriver that's appropriate for the size of the screw head. All right, so now that the screws are removed, these tuning pegs should just come right out of the headstock. Okay, so now that we're ready to install the new tuning pegs, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down the headstock just to make sure there's no dirt or grime. You know, do both sides, however you wanna do it. So one of the first things I like to do, if I'm gonna do it like this, where I have all the tuning pegs removed, is I wanna put all of my new tuning pegs in their correct spots and get prepared to screw in the stabilizing screw. Go ahead and make sure that the new screw holes match up with the old ones, and then you're ready to install on the back side. Now, there have been times when I've done uh, tuning installs where I go uh, tuner by tuner. So I'll remove one, put the new one in. In that case, I'll do the collar first and then I'll go ahead and screw in the new screw. It doesn't matter because either way you're going to get the same result of having the new tuners installed. So Geiker sends along the new screws in this nice little pouch that you don't have to worry about them floating all over the place. So just like removing the screws, we're just going to install the new screws with a screwdriver. Now as a side note, you can see I'm using a hand screwdriver. Some people like to use power tools. I prefer to use hand tools just so I don't accidentally over torque or potentially break something in the process. Okay, now that we have the stabilizing screws in place, we can go ahead and flip the guitar over and install the washers and the collars that'll basically lock these in place. So with the pegs in place, all we're gonna do now, this is basically the last step of installing these tuners before stringing, is fit the new collars and the new sleeves onto their respective tuner. Now the nice thing about these is they should just go on by hand with relative ease.
So to be honest, that was one of the easiest installs I've ever done of a locking tuners. I've had uh, brands of locking tuners from uh, companies where I've tried to thread these collars on and basically had to fight the whole way through. These were super smooth and easy. One of the things you don't want to do is you don't want to over tighten these. So really what you want to do is make sure that they're tight enough with your finger. Honestly, you could probably leave it being just finger tight because there's going to be tension on these and they really don't loosen up um, over time as much as people think. But if you're really concerned, just give them like a small couple of turns until you get a little bit of resistance. Not a lot. You don't want to over torque them because you can strip out the threading on the collar if you do. Okay, so those are perfectly tight, just tight enough. Now we're ready to string up the guitar. So for my restring today, I'm going to go ahead and use a set of Diodario XLs 11 to 52 because this guitar is going to be set up for drop C. So one of the main advantages of having locking tuners on your guitar is that you can do really quick string changes. So here's my low string. I'm going to fully unlock the locking mechanism on the back of the machine head. I'm going to put my string all the way through. And this is where some people get a little bit kind of confused about what a locking tuner can and can't do. Um, some people like to have a little bit of wine to their, you know, uh, tuning peg, even with a locking tuner. You don't have to. You can just pull it straight through, lock it down. And as soon as you start to pull on it, you know, and it comes to tension, you can tune it up. Sometimes it's handy to have one of these little, you know, attachable, uh, headstock tuners just to quickly check where you're at you know and there I am at C I'm gonna be adjusting this as I go because as I put more strings on there's gonna be more tension on the neck and the tuning is gonna change but in terms of the locking tuner this is all it is lock it down on the back tune it up to pitch and then go ahead and cut off your excess string and then you're good to go and I can go on to the next strings. All right, now that I got the tuners fully installed and strung up, here's what they look like on the, here's the back. Everything's working fine and everything is tuned up just great. All right guys, so that's my quick tutorial on how to install some locking tuners. Thanks to the people at Geiker for sending these to me. I think they look really cool on this particular headstock. I really like that modern kind of, you know, pegged look. But I think a brand like Geiker is starting to expand the field of affordability and functionality as well as aesthetics. And I think these are really cool. I'll go ahead and link below to their website to where you can find these. And go ahead and check me out at Baritone Goat Studio. Thanks.